My foreman called around 7.30 a.m. and told me that there were some people on the site and they had come down, they had pulled down the wall of our children's park project that we are building. So I rushed here and I got here. I saw not less than 30 policemen, not less than 25 other groups of people in different kinds of jackets claiming to be people from Abokobi Assemble. I said, no problem. If you are from the Assemble, that is very good. Why do you pull down my property that they are here and they want a permit? And because they don't have a permit, they've decided to pull down the property. And I asked them, you don't have the right or a court order to pull down somebody's property because the person doesn't have a permit. And I told them that, look, I wrote to you I send you my side plan, waiting for you to give me a bill. This is the Gaiis municipality. municipality. You refuse giving a bill. You delay in giving a bill. I issued a check, a cross check, at least to cover me to be able to start protecting the property. I gave you the check. A day before the destruction, you brought the check back and demanded cash. With them, there were some MPP invisible forces among them who came. I have the person's name, the constituency he belongs to, and where he votes, and what position he holds in the MPP. The crime officer and one inspector, crime officer ASP Sapo from Taifa, and one inspector from Taifa, they asked them to push it down, that carry on. So police misconducted themselves here. Abokobi attacked my boys and even hurt them, even myself. I tried to explain to them that if you want to intimidate them, we will resist. So I pulled my weapon and told them, this is my weapon. Don't let us also start. If ordinary Ghanaians, if people like us can go through this under, under the police supervision, then I pity the ordinary Ghanaians who do not have even wings to fly. This property I'm putting up is a children's park I'm putting up for the community of Hachu with swimming pool, with game pool, uh, place, with, uh, what do you call it, bowling center, for the for basketball court, for the community. We don't have it in this community. I have already built a school for the community. I am putting up a hospital at the community. You went there, you broke the wall. And now I'm putting up here a, a school park, a play center for the kids. You want to destroy. What else do you want me to do as a presidential candidate for my community?